Yep, Tony Stark is always two steps ahead. Even when we first meet him in Iron Man 1, he's got to outthink the enemy while he's doing his thing. In his wounded state, he designs the famous blueprint for his first armor suit. But of course, he has to build another set of fake blueprints to trick the enemy who's spying on him, watching him through video cameras. He's got to lead them down another trail. And of course, he had to make all the parts for this armor look like they could be put into the shape of a missile or multiple missiles. That's why this first armor itself kind of looks like a rocket. Tony Stark loves style. He wants everything to have his special touch on it, but he sacrificed style in order to camouflage this as a different piece. Even towards the end of his build, he learned how to hide off camera. He learned where and how and when they were watching. And the big bulk of that he did in 24 hours. Many fans theorize that he could put together a more polished look. Of course he could, he's Tony Stark. But it needed to have rough welds. It needed to look like something that could go into war as a rocket. Most of you already know this, but really he's building two designs at the same time with one intent for the final outcome. And some people say, well, what about the arc reactor? Wasn't that a dead giveaway? He was doing something else. But that's just it. Tony Stark convinced the enemy, not only could he help himself be more healthy, but this was the power source that was gonna change their lives and their technology. And I know what you're thinking, will the MCU ever have a character like this ever again? 